family that prays together stays together. My name is Father Ronald Kawaya, a Holy Cross priest. And today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Sorrows. We remember the seven sorrows Mother Mary experienced in her heart, her immaculate heart, a blameless heart, a loving heart. Mary, the mother of God, shared in Jesus' pain from the time she presented him in the temple till his burial. And while Jesus offered himself to the Father for our salvation, Mary offered God herself for the same end. Mary experienced the first sword or the first sorrow during the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. The holy old Simeon said to her that her son Jesus has been established as a sign which will be contradicted and your own heart will be pierced by a sword. The violence of sorrow cut through Mary's heart and Mary's compassion went beyond the endurance of physical pain. The second sorrow was about the flight into Egypt. This was when, after the warning of an angel, Joseph took the child and his mother to flee Herod, who was in search of the child to destroy him. Today, Jesus is reliving the Exodus experience of Israel. In her pain, Mother Mary strengthens us in being with her son in the experience of the new Exodus. Jesus being lost in Jerusalem was the third sword Mary experienced. Jesus seemed lost for three days from his parents when he remained behind in Jerusalem and his parents had no idea about that. Jesus was about his father's work. The divine son is obedient to his father's will. Mary, our mother, continues to search out for you and for me to be obedient to God's word amidst what seems destruction. What seems destruction. The meeting of Mary and Jesus on the way to Calvary was the fourth sword of suffering that Mary experienced. Mary saw her son walking to meet his death, carrying his cross. In remembrance of Mary's sufferings, may we accept any situation of pain and suffering that unites our suffering to that of Christ. At the hour of the crucifixion, Mary experienced her fifth sword of sorrow. Mary, the symbol of the church, at this hour was given a role as the mother of Christians. The mother Mary was stood at the foot of the cross, intercede for us always to seek salvation in our joys and in our sorrows. The taking down of Jesus' body for the cross was the sixth sword to pierce Mary's heart. And the burial was the seventh sword that Mary experienced. You and I are invited to accept Mary's mother's invitation to conversion, to return to the Lord. We are invited to love one another. We are invited along the road of unity, renewal in our true faith, to pray, to make reparation, to suffer and to offer ourselves to God. We are invited to open our hearts to Mary's immaculate heart that loving heart, that blameless heart, which leads us to the sacred heart of Jesus. In Jesus' heart, we are forgiven all our sins and our relationships are renewed in the Lord. Mother Mary shared in the sufferings of Jesus. We pray through our intercession that our mental, our physical, emotional, and spiritual sufferings on earth are united with Christ's suffering and death. And Christ will enable us to share in his rising to a new life. May the Lord bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.